Ah, oh, here we go again. Yo, it's your boy, Mr. Universe, and welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're going to be talking about Miraculous Ladybug Season 3, Episode 12, Time Tiger. It aired in French first, but now it's in English, and oh my gosh, I love the English dub. Time Tiger is already a good episode, it has plot. We get a little sneak peek into the future of Ladybug, but is the future bright? To spill this tea today, I brought in a friend of mine, her name is Gabby, let's welcome her to the channel, and let's get into it. Here's the tea. The episode starts off with Alia and Marinette playing a mobile rap game in the park where Alia succeeds and Marinette can't rap for Chris asks the girls if he could play the rap game with them, which they told him no because it's not for kids. The phone game, not for kids, even though they're 14. Anyways, there's a swarm of pigeons and Marinette lies to Alia to be Ladybug and it turns out to be Mr. Pigeon again. A lucky charm and a cataclysm and boom, he's back to normal. It turns out that Mr. Pigeon loves pigeons a lot. Now that he's back to normal, he offers Ladybug and Chat Noir ice cream to make up for the apparently 23 times he got akumatized. What could possibly go wrong? Oh look, a villain. Another villain with time powers. Come on, Hawk Moth, do better. This guy looks better written. I mean, you know, more dangerous than Time Breaker, I must say. He's sending back civilians into the past, and because of the space-time continuum, they all had effect in the past, thus changing history and the future around them. Because Ladybug and Shat have to change back, they run away. <laughs> Are you running? Why are you running? Which literally doesn't make any sense, but okay. Hi everyone, my name is Gabby. And I'm here now. So I'm gonna tell the rest of the story in the best way I possibly can. All right, so they run into Marinette and Adrian's classmate, Alex, which is fine, but they all act super chummy for people that just got side tackled by someone wearing roller skates in the most premier museum in the world, which literally doesn't make any sense, but okay. Alex starts talking complete nonsense at first and Cat and Ladybug don't understand because they're still suffering from that concussion that this girl just gave them. But Alex eventually spits out that the weird and cursed magic timepiece thing she certainly thought was just a normal thing for ancient people to have holograms. Turns out it's a miraculous. Cool. Cat does what Cat does, being completely and utterly useless, and makes a joke about a shovel. First, what? Second, how the heck? Does that make sense to literally anyone else? So they go and destroy another piece of artwork inside the Louvre like, hello, what? <laughs> I'm no FBI agent or lawyer, but I feel like even art theft has jail time with it. Not to mention, you know, turning an artifact to just dust. There's this old lady looking like 20 in the rock that touches Alex's Miraculous and boom! Now they're just a really confusing Mad Hatter ass white bunny Miraculous who's way more powerful than anyone else. Which is weird because aren't the ladybug and black cat supposed to be the most powerful? I there's some weird science-y talk, but basically when you're an adult, your Miraculous is more powerful and lasts more than five minutes and you're cooler than these babies. Literally, they stand on the side and do nothing while Alex forces her younger self Sister, I don't, oh my god. Fighting, fighting, fighting. This this is a kid show, right? I love the multiple references to Cat literally being the one that's eventually gonna ruin everything in the future. He almost killed Alex for like the second time in only a couple of minutes. Every single episode when he messes up and almost kills Ladybug, it's, it's fine. But the moment that weirded me out the most is that it should not have taken an entire minute of screen time for Ladybug to write a note. Everyone in the audience knows that this is a trap. Hawk Moth knows this is a trap. Literally everyone but the people standing there knew that this was a trap. But of course, you know, there has to be some sort of happy ending. Ladybug passes her note to her future self, and while Ladybug and Clueless Noir are handing over their stuff in this timeline, Time Tagger is like, I'm gonna give the miraculous to the future Hawk Moth. He's just a cheater and not fighting the adults. That's cool. Just go pick on some 14 year olds. Genius. This is that plot line I was talking about that we really see now. Now we see that Gabriel Agress will not be Hawk Moth in the future. Why? We don't know yet. Now, I love the idea of Gabriel not being Hawk Moth in the future. First of all, the man needs a break. He's already has like gray hair at 40, stress forehead lines looking like Wi Fi over here. Like, get some sleep, take a vacation. 
chill. I just really want it to be Lila. No hate, please. But I low-key love her, and I just want her to be a better villain than the mean girl in school who sometimes shows up. Anyway, so Lila can face off with Chloe, first of all. That's iconic. And second of all, the moment when she grabbed that Akuma out of midair, like, yes. I want her to be Hawk Moss so bad. Like, after that moment, I was like, all right, you. I'm kind of on the opposite here, ish. I mean, I'm disappointed that there's still a Hawk Moth in the future. That means Nuru is powers are still being used for the forces of evil. He wants a break. Nuru is tired of letting his powers be used for the negatives, man. Nuru is tired of the Tom clownery, the Tom foolery that has been taking place for years. He just wants to sleep. He's tired. We do get a mini scene with Gabriel saying that if he's not Hawk Moth in the future, that he failed. Now, Nathalie is a weird character whose presence I'd love to talk about because I'm confused. But, but, she says that it's possible that he succeeded, meaning his wife is back, question mark? Honestly, he would benefit more from that bunny miraculous more than the moth wand. We still don't know why Miss Aggress has passed away or why she's in the coma state that she's in. We don't know if it's because of the... the... oh my gosh. Is it the pigeon miraculous? No. What is it? The peacock miraculous. Wow. I don't even know my miraculouses. Anyways, um, we don't know why she's in that state. But we do know is that if Gabriel were to use the ultimate power, when you take someone's life, if you were to wish someone back life, then someone else loses their life. So because my guess, my theory, my theory is that Gabriel Agrest will wish back his wife, but then in turn will lose someone else that's close to him. And who is close to... Gabriel Agrest, Adrian Agrest. Agent Agrest will lose his life. That is my theory. But hey, that's just a theory. The miraculous theory. Personally, uh, this was not my favorite episode just because it was extremely confusing. Um, I like time travel videos. I love like the idea of time travel. Oh, it's so cool. But like, I don't know. It just, it wasn't the episode for me. I like, it's okay. The episode wasn't anything special for me. It wasn't also anything bad. It wasn't like season one where it's just, you know, Hawkmoth created a villain. Let's defeat it. Yeet the Akuma. And nothing that pertained to the plot. Anytime there's a plot episode, I love it. Season one was mainly filler, okay? There's nothing wrong with a little filler here and there. We all get filler, come on. But here we get a little bit of knowledge of what the creators and the story writers are gonna be doing. They're gonna be taking the story. Looks like we're gonna still be fighting Hawkmoth. That's 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 it. Gabriel or Lila or Chloe or whoever is Hawkmoth. They're still gonna be fighting Hawkmoth into the future. So there's still a ton of episodes to go through and a lot of character development that still has to come out. Um, one question. The miraculous that future Alex took from past Alex is now back in the future. So now that that past miraculous is in the future, past Alex can't get the miraculous. They broke it. They broke the time continuum. Y'all run, cover your heads. I'm going to end the episode here with you guys. Thank you for joining us on our first Miraculous Mondays, episode one, where we covered season three, episode 12. Thanks for Gabby for joining me today to help me discuss this. Next episode is going to be season three, episode 13, Star Train. Another Max episode where Ladybug and Chat Noir will face Max's mother, now called Star Train. It says that our heroes will need help. Will this be another Rena Rouge, Care Pace, and possible Queen Bee episode? Who knows? What do you think will happen in the episode? Comment down below and take your guess, and we'll see whose theory is correct. Thanks for joining your boy, and stay lucky, my little Akumas. Peace out.